Coconut Cheese. My name is Randall and today we're going to be making meatloaf balls. And it's just pretty much the same recipe you're going to make meatloaf, uh, meatloaf or meatloaf sliders which my kids love or meatloaf balls because we're having a party and we're going to have all of our guests over. So um, this is a really super good appetizer and you know they think they're eating meatballs but when they pop it in their mouth they'll be like whoa this is meatloaf. So uh, let's go and get all this mixed together and get ready to roll in the balls and head into the oven. So we've starting out with our hamburger, a little over two pounds here. I've got uh, some 80-20 and some 90-10. So we're gonna start with that, and I kind of press it back in the center, as you can see right there. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is three eggs. Okay. We're gonna dump three eggs right in the middle of this. This is gonna help hold this meatloaf together and keep it from crumbling. Next, I've got a teaspoon of cracked fresh ground pepper, a teaspoon of Montreal steak seasoning, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. So we're just going to go ahead and get that sprinkled in there until they're all good and nice. Next, we've got this is three tablespoons of Dale's seasoning and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm kind of partial to Dale's. Uh, next, we've got two cups of Italian breadcrumbs. I, you know, a lot of people use crackers, rich crackers, uh, saltine crackers. I prefer the breadcrumbs. Uh, I think it gives it a lot nicer body, a little firmer as an end result. And last but not least, we have one and a half cups of salsa. This isn't uh, chunky salsa. This is mild salsa, regular salsa you buy at you know, pretty much any regular grocery store. And the reason I use salsa is because it's got my tomatoes in it, it's got my vegetables in it, it's got my peppers in it. And if you ever look at a meatloaf pack saw, uh, seasoning pack, it's going to have the same ingredients that's in salsa. So, you know, I just combine it all into one and uh, <clears throat> dump that right in there. And that's going to yield a lot more product, too, uh, you know, as an end result. So we're going to give this a good mix and get ready to uh, get it put into balls and into the oven. So, let's go and get all this mixed up real nice, and we'll uh, have it ready to hit the tray. So, we got our uh, meatloaf all mixed up, and what I've done, I've took a little one tablespoon measuring, little measuring spoon, and roll each one out. So, it kind of gives me, you know, kind of in the ballpark, so they'll all be, you know, try to be uniform and close to the same size anyway. So, we're going to go ahead and get the rest of these rolled out. So we're going to take, like I said, you might, you might have to get a little bit extra. It kind of gives you a ballpark figure of where you want to be when you uh, put these uh, balls on your tray. This is going to hit a 350 degree oven. It's going to take about 15, 20 minutes. We've got one more step to go before we put them in the oven. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these balls rolled out and uh, go to our next step. All right, we got our uh, first run of meatloaf balls rolled out on the tray and ready for them. But the last thing we're going to do is go ahead and coat these little guys with uh, a little ketchup. So ketchup always fares well with the meatloaf. So uh, while these uh, little guys are in the oven, go ahead and uh, grab you some uh, Noble Beer cheese spread and some Tostitos corn chips and have you a little snack. These little guys here are also really good dipped in some uh, Noble Beer cheese spread as well. It's a veteran owned, veteran made, 100% natural, 35 calories a serving. Uh, you can find it at your local grocer in the dairy section. Uh, if they don't have it, please ask for it. Tell them you want the bull. No bull beer cheese spread. So while we're going ahead and get the rest of these coated, um, we're going to whip up our next round of uh, balls and get them ready for the oven as well. All right, now that we got all of our uh, meatballs coated with some ketchup, and I meant to tell you that what we're making here was a double batch because we got guests coming over tomorrow and this uh, this evening, so we want to make sure we got plenty for everybody because these little guys will go quick. But you can take all the ingredients, cut them in half. If it's just you know you a family of four or three, and you're going to have plenty. Like I said, you know you can use this as a meatloaf, meatloaf sliders, or meatloaf balls. You know the choice is yours. But let's go ahead and get these. Uh, little puppies in the oven and give them about 15 minutes at 350 degrees and we'll be uh, checking on them. I just uh, checked on our meatballs and they're ready to come out of the oven. 
So let's go ahead and get these uh, little guys out and see how they look. Oh, if we had smell a vision, this would be a huge hit because you'd be coming through the screen right now to try one of these. So uh, let's go ahead and get these served up on a plate and give them a taste and see what, what they look like. So these are fresh out of the oven. So we're going to go ahead and take a couple of these off here. Put right around here. Now we got a really super nice glaze from the ketchup that we placed on top. And by me using the 90-10 and the 80-20 mix on the hamburger fat content is uh, very little uh, grease left over. And I've got this today served up with some Smoky Mountain Noble Beer Cheese Original, which again, veteran owned, veteran made. And you know, while you're enjoying your meat, uh, meatballs, meatloaf balls, you know, please don't forget about our soldiers overseas and Afghanistan, and you know, because they're not getting to enjoy stuff like this. So anyway, just think of them and. All this wouldn't be possible with Smoky Mountain Cheese without my good friend and financial partner, uh, Dr. Steve, who has been instrumental in getting uh, the company financially, strategy-wise, ready to go and uh, <clears throat> growing the company and giving our soldiers a chance for gainful employment. So uh, let's go ahead and give us one of these a try and see what we Thank think. Thank you for joining me today in the kitchen of Smoky Mountain Cheese. I hope this recipe helps you out because my theory, more time with the family and less time in the kitchen. Like I said, these meatballs, uh, meatloaf balls per se, is a, an excellent appetizer for your guests, family, friends, any kind of gathering. And you're going to get that wow factor, you know, oh my gosh, this ain't meatballs, this is meatloaf balls. And that's what you want. I mean, you want to be the superstar in the kitchen uh, with not a lot of time spent in there. So, and there again, you can take this mix that, you know, I showed you today and make it into a meatloaf. You can make it into sliders. You can make it into meatloaf balls. You know, whatever you want. But anyway, uh, thank you for joining me, and may you have a blessed day.